from scratching, my fingers is still burning. Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy C Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And today in 4K, I got a full in depth review on the Nike SB Dunk Powerpuff Girl Bubbles. Yes, sir. And I got all of them. Um, as they come in, we're gonna do the review. These ones happen to come first. Um, I guess everyone likes this colorway the best. I mean, the blue and the yellow is hard to argue. Me, this wasn't my first go-to because I own the Grateful Deads in the same colorway. So as you can see, colors kind of similar, blue on yellow, yellow on blue. So that's the only reason this wasn't my first one. But the sneakers fire in hand, guys. They, they did this blue right. I, I might have to change my, um, my seating. Right now, I like the pink ones better. Then these, then the green ones. When I get them all in, I compare and contrast, see which one I really like. But we starting with the bubbles joints. And um, it went crazy, man. Um, Sneakers app dropped all three, like I told you on a previous video while I was recording it. The first two was the scratch joint, and it went horrible. Like, I was scratching and scratching and scratching. Close the sneaker app out. Scratch and scratch and scratch. And it was popping up in the laboratory from the bag from the guy who made them with the sugar and spice. The sneakers popped up, but I couldn't get access. So I closed the app one last time, opened the app back up, and the exclusive access was there. So this pair I definitely got from the Nike sneakers app, and it was hard. This pair went scratched. The green ones went scratch, and by the time they got to the pink ones, they was like, let's just do a draw. And I got lucky, man, but you know we don't do too much long talking here at Sneaker Notes. Let's unbox them. Hit the music. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. So, kind of underwhelmed. I thought we was going to get like a power puff colorful box they could have even brought back the quick strike lifesaver looking box but we get the chrome and off-white box that we've been getting lately for all the sb dunks if not this one we get the purple one so that's the box that comes in it reads nike sb dunk low pro qs blue chill deep royal blue when you flip open the lid you get some First, let me show you how Nike put this together before we get to the tissue paper. They gave us that glow-in-the-dark Nike SB logo, and they attached it up here, which is dope. It's like it's a pocket for it, like an ID holder. But besides that, you do get a power puff stand out here, man. So you get a nice poster. If you was a fan, you get to put it up in your um, room or wherever, in your office. Got the Nike SB uh, logo there. And then the girls are there. I don't know all their names. I'm tired of messing up their names. I know you got a Bubbles, a Buttercup. Comment section below. Y'all give me the other one, man. I'm not, I think Blossom, right? All bees? I think so. But yeah, you get a nice poster there. Big size too, guys. Here's a 360 view of the Nike SB Dunk. Powerpuff Girl Bubbles. It's dope, man. Now, off the bat, I know you see like little glittery, little, I guess that's the sugar and spice they were made from, if you remember the cartoons in the 90s. But that look hits hard, man. It turns the sneaker from a regular blue to like really blue chill, as they call it, because it does look like snowflakes, something frozen. I really like that look. Let me get closer for y'all. It's even all on the toe box. You see it, guys? That glitter, snowflake, sugary look. Nike did their thing with this, man. So, yeah, the toe box is... It feels new buck suede, guys, but it looks leather. It's weird. I, I, 
couldn't even tell you if I tried, but softer touch. And I like, because Nike Dunk don't always do this. The toe box on the, on the outside of the toe box, you can see that is a difference. You even got the cuts on both sides by the shoelace holder. They do it sometimes, but to do it on this really was dope. Around, you get the same material, that same sugar look. I really like it. Let's get to the uh, swoosh. The swoosh is like in a rubber feel and look, but it pops out because you got the black border around the yellow. Whenever you put a black border around a bright color, you get this dope look. It's sandwiched in in that same blue chill material. That color, that colorway and that texture is all through the sneaker. But I like the swoosh, man. Nice bright yellow, man. Get to the back. You got the Power Puff Girl Eye. Dope look, man. I really like this, man. I mean, if they didn't put it there, I would have liked to see it on the toe box or especially the tongue. But right there was like a perfect hit for it. You know, usually my favorite Nike logo is there. But you get that nice Chanel patch, Velcro feel look on the back, which is dope. Coming to the inside of the sneaker, it looks just like the outside of the sneaker. And what I really commend Nike for is giving us this black at the bottom. If this was just white, guys, this, this sneaker, it wouldn't look as good. That black at the bottom puts everything together, in my opinion. Speaking of the bottom, you get a translucent blue chill look at the bottom. Very dope. If it went with yellow, I would have been okay, too, but I think the blue is better. As you can see it there, all the way at the bottom, translucent, light blue look. You get the Nike SB logo in the middle in yellow. Dope look. The inside of the sneaker looks straight out of a comic book, straight out of a 19, 19, 1990s uh, uh, cartoon. You get Nike SB in a cartoon comic font, astronomical in there. That's what I thought the whole sneaker would look like. But I'm not mad with just the inside being like that. The tongue, super dope, man. You get the Nike SB logo in that uh, yellow on top of the blue chill colorway. And it says bubbles. Very small, but you can see it. It says bubbles there. The back has the rights to the Powerpuff Girls, the logos and everything there. I really like that. That was the left. This is the right here. Um, Let's go back to the tongue. The tongue is like in a satin pillow situation because you know it's an SB, so you get that pillow look. But you get satin hits and looks, especially on the back. You can see the satin a lot. And it says and it reads Power Puff Girls. They logo all through the sneak through the sneak on the tongue. Like in a satin look. I think it's dope. I wouldn't have been mad if we had all this tongue. Power Puff logo all through the sneaker also, but I do think the blue chill hits is a little better, the sugar joints, but the tongue is dope because of that. It comes in your yellow shoelaces to match the swoosh, which I really, really like, but it also comes with black shoelaces, and I'm kind of mad they didn't give us the blue, but the black is very dope too, man. It, again, if this wasn't black, the sneaker wouldn't be this dope to me. I'm trying to get y'all everything. The back of the right side doesn't have power puff. It has the sugar ingredient used to make them. So, so the right has the sugar ingredient and the left has the power puff licensing. Very dope, man. I don't know, guys. I'm starting to have my doubts, man. Yes, sir, man. Let me know if you was able to cop um like Skate Shop or Sneakers app. Sneakers app, it was hard, man. I mean, they had sizes. It was sizes there, but that scratch thing, man, I wish all three was just a draw, lottery, just take my chances, hope I hit, take my money. <laughs> but speaking of money, um, retail was $146 to me, New York, that's tax shipping from Nike. Um, right now, depending on sizes, well, to be honest, not even depending on sizing, this sneaker is... Anywhere between 260 to 350. I haven't seen a price, no matter size or color, go under 260. It might go under 260 though, because I feel like we're getting a restock. I don't know from where. I just feel like it wasn't enough skate shots with this, and Sneakers App did such a bad job. Whenever they do a bad job, we do get a restock, i.e. the uh 
the Jordan one, um, what them things was called, the the Lost and Founds, the Jordan three reimagines. Whenever Sneakers app has a little glitch, they do try to make up for it. But yeah, man, let me know in the comment section below how y'all rate these. I'm I'm starting to really feel these uh blue ones, man. On the back, you got a little black line here also. I don't know if that's an eye wink or what it is. I really wasn't a Powerpuff Girl fan. I'm just an SB fan, but I see that. I just want to give y'all everything I see, man. But I like these blue joints, man. As um, soon as the pink ones come in, I think tomorrow we on those. And then the green ones, maybe next week. Y'all know it's Christmas, so I ain't really. I got Grinches. I got Belly New Balance. Whole bunch of stuff, man. So make sure you hit subscribe, notification bell, everything that YouTube to say, man. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching. Everybody, get rich.